My interest for music has always been evident throughout my whole entire life since I was a very young kid. Probably at two, three years old, I had those toy guitars that had buttons. And then that soon became a present that was an acoustic guitar. Um, and from there, I picked up the piano, and it was a natural progression. The music has always been a huge part of my life. But I only actually started taking it seriously um, when I started thinking about the CD. Um, and now we have this amazing product here that I'm really proud of. Here I Am is a project that started about three years ago um, and is a direct reflection of who I am as a person. It talks about the experiences that I've been through, the struggles and pains of life, and it puts it through a lens, through a perspective that is encouraging, that's inspirational. And um, I hope that people are actually blessed by um, these songs and these melodies. The songwriting process for me starts from the inside out. Basically you have something that you grip onto in your own life and then you externalize that in some form of writing and melody in a way that people can comprehend it. Um, when I first started writing I was probably around um, 16, 17 years old even though I've always um, put together interesting chords and, and melodies, I never actually put it into a song until about the age of 17. When I wrote, wrote that first song, um, I showed it to a good friend of mine and writer, Andre Ferreira, and he, he took a look at it, analyzed it, and we worked together for about a year after that. Um, every single Tuesday for an hour we'd sit down and we'd talk about music, we'd talk about everyday lives, we'd talk about God, we'd talk about um, our experiences, and we'd try to encapsulate that into one song. Um, and it was an awesome process that, um, you know, I wouldn't trade it for the world. And I, I think that we really captured a good moment, and the, the CD captured a good moment of my songwriting and his songwriting during that time period. If you think that we will make it out this time. It's hard to pinpoint exactly what the best song is because they're all, you know, um, expressions of who I am as a person, and um, they all hold real realities for, to me. But my favorite song, I think, would be Almost, because it's the most complete song. Even though it's very simple in melody, and the whole composition is very simple, um, sometimes the simplest songs are the best songs. Lyrically, um, we wrote the song, um, I wrote the song, actually, um, when I heard a question from my sister, she asked me, um, what's man's biggest enemy, largest enemy? And I didn't really know how to respond and she told me it was almost, which is basically, you know, almost making it there, almost um, getting to where you wanted to get to, almost reaching that goal but not quite making it there. Um, and the idea was to change the perspective on the song, uh, on that thought, really. Instead of looking at almost as, we almost got there so let's give up now, the idea is we almost got there, we're inches away um, from getting that touchdown, you know, and, and, and reaching that goal. So I think it's a very good, it's very um, well structured lyrically and with chord progressions and everything. And I think that um, people really can hold on to that because everyone, absolutely everybody, has been in the sea of almost. But I got you in my side. My message for the people that follow me is that um, I'm really happy that you in, you're enjoying the music and you're enjoying what we wrote and what we spent so much time working hard to give you guys. Um, I would like to also thank everyone that helped me out in the whole entire process, um, the producers, the musicians, family, friends. I mean, it's I couldn't even put it all on paper. I mean, who, how many people helped us in this project? So I would like to thank everybody, and especially the people who actually are fans out there. I'd like to thank you, because I wouldn't be doing this if you guys weren't happy. Thanks. When I go.